Well, Joey, that looks kind of crazy. What are you working on here today? Well, good morning to you, Jared. Um, today we have a 8F35, so eight-speed front-wheel drive transmission out of a 2021 Ford Transit Connect. Uh, they had a check engine light, a wrench light, bulletin codes. They were for the torque converter solenoid. There is a technical service bulletin on this for the needle bearings in the output planet carrier. They get worn out and they cause torque converter to not operate correctly. A little bit of extra vibration on the torque converter causing you some rough shifting. So we're going to tear this thing apart completely, figure out if that is the actual case. And we do have some worn clutch material, as you can see it all over on this snap ring. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out which clutches we need to replace, get this thing back on the road. So for the people who might not know Joey, explain a little bit about what a transmission does. So transmissions are hydraulically controlled through little ports and valleys from your main control valve body. They have different valves inside of there for different clutches. And the PCM tells the transmission when to shift through the shift solenoids and the shift solenoids activate the valves and they redirect the fluid pressure to go into your clutches. So very, very important to making you go places. Exactly. So when it comes to transmission issues, you definitely don't want to mess around. No, not at all. All right. Tell me like what would cause something like this? Something, uh, there's different variables. Uh, there's just normal clutch material wear. It can get on different ports. Clog up, clog up if it gets too extreme, clog up the different uh, valleys. Not changing your transmission fluid every 30, 40,000 miles can cause that too. Uh, it's important to keep transmission fluid clean. As you can see, this is all black and dirty. This vehicle, as far as I am concerned, I haven't seen any reports of a transmission fluid service done. However, this one does have over 100,000 miles on it different variables of how it's driven. If it's driven very hard, fluid pressure is gonna be high. It's gonna cause excessive wear. If it's th driven through different conditions too, mud, sand, even snow, if you're slipping all the time doing donuts at, out in the school parking lot, <laughs> keeping the RPMs high, which puts up, ramps up the fluid pressure. There, there's different variables that go into it. Uh, this is the first time I'm tearing into a 8F35 on these so as far as we have seen here they've been decently reliable not too many issues again just like with anything if you take care of the vehicle it'll take care of you and thanks for sharing your kung fu like knowledge today <laughs> joey you are welcome